place on the necks of all these nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. And they shall serve him, even the beasts of the field I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in this people. For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die. Because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Lord, teach me your statutes. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let those turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decrees. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I may not put to shame. Lord, teach me your statutes. Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. From your ordinances I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, teach me your statutes. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Yes. Be from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said. They cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him, replied, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O ye of little faith. Why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to the land of Genezareth. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him to, and begged him, that they might touch only the tassel of his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord.
express his complete confidence in Jesus. Lord, you know, call me and I, you know, I'll come out and walk on the water. Uh, Jesus does call to him. And St. Peter begins to walk on the water. And we all know what happened next. He faltered. He was filled with fear. He began to sink. And fortunately, Jesus caught him. It's interesting that the story reveals much to us about our own lives of faith and much also about the goodness of Jesus. <laughs> so often we begin, if you will, with faith, trust in our head and have every intention to living the faith as best we can. And we make firm resolutions, even like Peter did. Firm resolutions to trust in Jesus and to walk on water, to walk through the storms of life. However, all too often we experience the same thing that Peter did. We start to live the trust that we express in Jesus, only suddenly to waver. We have all experienced storms in our lives. When things seem especially hopeless. When the pressure is on to perhaps compromise a value or compromise our integrity. In midst of that, Jesus calls out to us and tells us, don't be afraid.
there is where his disciples say, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we
supper of the Lamb. Thank you. 